do you have many performances that you're doing in the future, especially with your original stuff, or do you do you, um, do you segregate your covers stuff from your original stuff, or how, how do you work it? Man, it's a bit fluid at all times. <laughs> um, I'd love to do. I would really love to do a show of just my originals. Everyone's there because they want to watch my watch me play my originals. They want to listen to the shtick. Um, but there's all, actually some covers that I really have kind of made my own that I really like. Um, I'd like to play those too. Just because they kind of say some of the things that I would want to say. Mm. Mm-hmm. Better than I could say them right now, you know. So, um, mm-hmm. Why try and fix it if it's not broke? Mm-hmm. Um, but I'd love to show my originals. I've got heaps of originals. Um, bursting at the seams to be recorded. Mm. Just got to figure that out. So with cherry picking, how did you come across your recording process? Like oh, what was involved and how did you do that? Well, this one was pretty um, lucky in the uni that I was in. Um, there's a lot of other different departments. I was in like the songwriting performance department and there's like an audio department there's like a photography department there's an animation and like graphic art design gaming slash gaming or something department there's an acting and film kids department um and man there's probably probably more i don't mm-hmm. know those are the ones that i know of. and um i don't know if you can imagine i've got assignments with certain things to do and um, the audio kids also have assignments. Mm-hmm. And if you can imagine for an audio student, um, it's probably a good assignment to, um, you know, record someone as you would in your in your life, in your job, I suppose. Mm-hmm. And um, I got to be a part of one of those assignments for an audio student and it's just literally kind of that simple. Um, he recorded the vocal and the guitar. I got the stem off of him, put another thingy over it. A mate of mine at the time did actually. Mm-hmm. Um, like an overdub, yeah, another just, guitar line. Yeah, literally just that. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, released it pretty much. Mm. Released it a fair bit later, but mm. released it eventually. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have any plans for future recordings and how you intend on tackling that? Um, well, I've got a lot of options. I'd love to, because um, it's pretty, cherry picking is pretty simple production wise. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd love to get my head around it. I'd love to do it myself. Mm. Um, so that's something that I'm trying to work with. I've got all the gear and somewhat of an idea. Okay. I just need to need the space. There's a lot of crows where I live. It's rancid. So many crows are calling all day mm. into the night, man. Mm. And then the other birds come out and the bats. There's a lot of wildlife in the inner city. Quite a quiet, <laughs> yeah. quiet space. And it's not just animals that are the wildlife. <laughs> they get around. Yeah, a quiet space is, yeah. is the hardest thing for recording, isn't it? Mm. Because some of those microphones will pick up everything. Oh, bloody ass. You know? Bloody ass. Um, well, that's interesting. So, um, yeah. So how do you feel you're going with the recording process? Like, uh, like for me, I think there's like a lot yeah. to like kind of learn. It's quite, you know, mind-blowing. Yeah. yeah I don't... Overwhelming if you try and take it all, you know, all at once. So how do you tackle it? How do I tackle it? Um, I'm still tackling it. I don't really actually have any clue what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm using Logic Pro X, and um, I, I, know, I don't know, I understand how to use it, probably about as far as I can record something, I can um, EQ it a bit, put some kinds of effects on it, change the parameters on the effects. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on some of the other functions, like in quantizing stuff. Mm-hmm. There's so many terms and there's so many things that just go right over my head. 
There's a lot involved. Yeah, there's a lot involved. It's a whole other beast. It's a whole other. Mm-hmm. It's a whole other fifty thousand instruments. Mm. It may as well be. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm still. I haven't cracked it fully yet. I'm probably nowhere near as good at any of that as I am. I don't know. Making a cup of tea, shining my shoe. <laughs> um, I don't get there. And if not, um, and that's more of a fun journey project thing. In actuality, I'll probably put some money aside and hopefully have a professional, mm-hmm. hopefully a professional, um, mm. help me probably with the mixing and the mastering, mm. um, some ideas maybe of what, what else I could do to make it a song. Say so someone help you produce it? Like, yeah. 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 Mm. Well, there you go. If someone's out there listening, you might want to get in touch Give me a with Tane. Um, yeah, because his links are in the description. Um, so you will be able to connect with him. Um, so feel free to check those out. Please. Any help to support the cause would be uh, greatly thanked. That's great. Take a short break and be right back. <laughs> 